Hello there, Nareg is here. Today, I'm gonna talk about trigonometric identities. We're gonna take a few examples directly and I'm gonna show you the steps that you should follow in order to verify these trigonometric identities. So let's start. The first one, sine alpha plus cosine alpha to the power of 2 minus 2 times sine alpha times cosine alpha should be equal to 1. So we should demonstrate that the first part is equal to the second part which is 1. We can there are several methods. You can say that this is like A is it equal to B? You can start by A, follow a few steps, and then reach B. This is how you verify. Or you can say, let's check A minus B if it gives us 0. Or simply A over B, is it equal to, is it equal to 1? So you can choose any method. I'm going to start by talking about the part which is A on the left one, on the left part. So I will take the left part and try to reach the value 1. So let's start. I have sine alpha plus cosine alpha to the power of 2 minus 2 sine alpha times cosine alpha. Now once I expand, I will have sine alpha squared, sine squared alpha plus cosine squared alpha plus 2 times sine alpha times cosine alpha. This is in the form of a plus b to the power of 2. So it's a squared plus b squared plus 2 times a, ta to the two times, a time, times b. So whatever remains here, it's minus 2 sine alpha times cosine alpha. As you can see, 2 sine alpha cosine alpha minus 2 sine alpha cosine alpha, they will cancel out. So what remains is sine squared alpha plus cosine squared alpha is actually equal to the value that we're looking for is 1. So I was able to verify this identity. Let's take another example. So, I'm going to take another example. Um, in this case, I will take tangent alpha plus cotangent alpha. Is it equal to 1 over sine alpha times cosine alpha? So, this is the identity that, that we should verify. Again, we can start from A and try to reach B or A minus B, whatever you like. Uh, I will start by telling that tangent alpha plus cotangent alpha is actually equal to sine alpha over cosine alpha plus cosine alpha over sine alpha. Once I choose a common denominator, which is cosine alpha times sine alpha, I will have sine squared alpha plus cosine squared alpha. So the final answer, answer will be 1 over sine alpha cosine alpha, which already represents the answer that I'm looking for. So this is the second identity which I was able to verify. Now, let's go and take a third example. We are supposed to demonstrate that tangent squared alpha times 1 plus cotangent squared alpha is equal to 1 
over cosine square alpha. Now in this case, I'm going to choose the first part. So tangent squared alpha times 1 plus cotangent squared alpha is equal to sine squared alpha over cosine squared alpha times 1 plus cosine squared alpha over sine squared alpha. So it's equal to sine squared alpha over cosine squared alpha. I choose a common denominator here, sine squared alpha. So I will have sine squared alpha plus cosine squared alpha. As you can see, I can cancel out this one, sine squared alpha, sine squared alpha, since it's a multiplication. This whole part, it gives me 1. So the final answer will be 1 over cosine squared alpha. All right. So we were able to verify this identity also. Um, I'm going to take a fourth example. We have to demonstrate that cosine squared alpha times 2 plus tangent squared alpha is actually equal to 2 minus sine squared alpha. All right. Um, I will start again by the part A, the part on the left. So I have cosine squared alpha times 2 plus tangent, it's sine squared alpha over cosine squared alpha is equal to cosine squared alpha. Excuse me, in this part I should simply write it like this. So cosine squared alpha is a common denominator. I will have <coughs> 2 cosine squared alpha plus sine squared alpha. Alright, now as you can see you can cancel, simplify can, uh, cosine squared alpha and cosine squared alpha. So I will have 2 cosine squared alpha plus sine squared alpha. Now in this case I can simply uh, use the Fundamental formula, I have cosine squared alpha plus sine squared alpha is equal to 1. So cosine squared alpha is actually 1 minus sine squared alpha. So which means 2 cosine squared alpha is equal to 2 minus 2 sine squared alpha. So I will have to replace this answer here. I will have 2 minus 2 sine squared alpha plus sine squared alpha. The final answer will be 2 minus sine squared alpha. And this is how you are able to verify your identity. Let's move to the fifth example. The fifth one, we have cosine to the power of 4 of x minus sine to the power of 4x plus 2 sine squared x is it equal to 1. So I will have to prove if it's equal to 1. Let's start by saying that 
cosine x to the power of 4 minus sine x to the power of 4 plus 2 sine squared x is actually equal to cosine squared x minus sine squared x times cosine squared x plus sine squared x plus 2 sine squared x. In this case, I'm using the identity a squared minus b squared. So a squared minus b squared, which gives me a minus b times a plus b. So as you can see, it's cosine squared x minus sine squared x times cosine squared x plus sine squared x. Now this part, it's all one. It's the fundamental uh, formula, trigonometric for fundamental formula. So you will be able to say that your answer is cosine squared x minus sine squared x plus 2 sine squared x. So whatever remains is cosine squared x plus sine squared x, which will give me the final answer as 1. So this is how, again, I was able to verify this identity. Uh, let's take the sixth example, we have to demonstrate that tangent x plus cotangent x times sine x times cosine x is actually equal to, again, 1. Is it equal to 1? Let's start over. So we have tangent x plus cotangent x times sine x times cosine x. I will have to replace tangent by sine of x over cosine x plus cosine x over sine x times sine x times cosine x is equal to I choose a common denominator for the first part so it will be cosine x times sine x as for the numerator it will be sine squared x plus cosine squared x multiplied by sine, sine x times cosine x now as you can see I can simply cancel out, simplify sine x cosine x sine x cosine x whatever remains will give me the value of 1 and this is how I was able to verify this identity. A final example, the seventh example now this is a little bit different, it might be a little bit hard for you, but uh, I will share it with you. So you have to demonstrate that cosine to the power of 6 plus sine x to the power of 6 minus 1 is actually equal to minus 3 sine squared x times cosine squared x. So is it equal? In this case, as you can see, we have cosine to the power of 6. So um, I will have to think that it's very possible that I'm using a power um, of third degree. So initially, I should have cosine squared x plus sine squared x to the power of 3 in order to obtain the power 6. So First, I'm going to simply use the formula. I'm going to remind you about a plus b to the power of 3. What does it give me? It's a3 
plus 3a squared b plus 3ab squared plus b3. So this is for the third degree. Um, we're going to do the same thing with cosine and sine. So let's start. I will simply choose cosine x, cosine squared x plus sine squared x to the power of 3. So I chose cosine squared x plus sine squared x simply, you know, um, to have as a result cosine to the power of 6, sine to the power of 6. So once I expand, I will have cosine squared to the power of 3. It's going to give me cosine x to the power of 6 plus 3 times a squared. a is cosine squared to the power of 2. So it's cosine to the power of, a, uh, to the power of 4 sine squared x plus 3 times cosine squared x times sine x to the power of 4 plus finally b to the power of 3 which is sine squared to the power of 3 sine x to the power of 6. Now the initial one it's already cosine squared x plus sine squared x so it's 1 to the power of 3 is equal to cosine to the power of 6 plus sine to the power of 6. And then between these two, I will simply choose a common factor. So I will choose plus 3 cosine squared x times sine squared x. Whatever remains from the first one, it's cosine squared x. And whatever remains from the second one, it's sine squared x. As you can see, once again, we were able to find cosine squared x plus sine squared x, which gives me 1. So, I'm very close to the answer. I'm very close to the identity. What I should do is to keep cosine to the power of 6 plus sine to the power of 3. 6 and simply switch the places of 1 and the other factor. So I can write down as um, minus 3 cosine squared x times sine squared x is actually equal to cosine squared uh, cosine to the power of 6 of x uh, plus sine x to the power of 6 minus 1. So this identity is actually the same thing as the one above. All right. That, these are some simple examples of trigonometric identities that uh, you can, you, right now you know how to follow the steps and um, you know how to demonstrate them. Um, of course, you shouldn't be memorizing these identities. There are a couple of identities that, that you can simply memorize in case you want to talk about uh, cosine and, and tangent. Let's say you have the initial formula. It's cosine squared x plus sine squared x is equal to 1. Now I will divide the whole um, equation by cosine squared x. I will obtain cosine squared x over cosine squared x plus sine squared x over cosine squared x is equal to 1 over cosine squared x. The first one gives me 1. As for the second part, it's tangent. So I was able to find that 1 plus tangent x to the power of 2 is actually equal to 1 over cosine squared x. Or you can simply say that cosine to the power of 2 is equal to 1 over 1 plus tangent x to the power of 2. So these identities um, you can memorize them in case you want to learn 
a relation between cosine and uh, tangent. Do you, we have the same thing with um, sine, of course, in case you want to calculate with sine also. It's the same idea. So we have cosine squared x plus sine squared x is equal to 1. Once you simplify the whole equation by sine squared x, you will have cosine squared x divided by sine squared x plus sine squared x divided by sine squared x is equal to 1 over sine squared x. The first one it's going to give me cotangent. In case you don't want to get into cotangent, you can simply write that it's the reciprocal of tangent. So it's 1 over tangent x to the power of 2 plus 1 is equal to 1 over sine squared x. You can choose a common denominator, so it will be tangent to the power of 2. 1 plus tangent to the power of 2 is equal to 1 over sine squared x. Now, you can simply say that sine squared x will be equal to tangent x to the power of 2 over 1 plus tangent of x to the power of 2. So, you can memorize either the first or the second one, it depends. Um, on your exercise, whatever they are asking to find sine and you have tangent, or you have sine and you have to calculate directly tangent. So these formulas are going to help you. These identities, you can memorize them. Or else, the previous ones, the seven examples that I did, um, these are identities that you should know the steps in order to verify that these identities actually are the same. The A part is, is equal to the B part. All right, that's all, that's all for today. I hope it was helpful. Um, I'm going to ask you to subscribe to my channel, to my YouTube channel. So I will upload new videos and whenever I have new materials uploaded, you will be notified. I can also share with you my Instagram and Facebook account in case you want to contact me, ask me any question or you can simply leave a comment below. That's all for today and see you next time.